Today we will be talking about the overhead projector in the classroom, the different uses of it, and why it is useful in the classroom. Like I said, this is the overhead projector. I will show you the difference between the old and the new one, just kind of in the looks of it. This first one shown here is what I'm calling the old one, was used kind of when I was a kid. They're not really used as much anymore. This one, however, is the newer version. It is often called an Elmo. That is one of the brands. And this is the one that we're going to focus on more because it is used now. Now, what does this device do? Now you can see here in this picture, the actual projector is projecting an image onto the screen. You see the whiteboard underneath the hand that is going to go underneath the camera of the Elmo and that's going to sit on the teacher's desk. The Elmo and the projector are connected so that the image is then projected onto the screen. So now we come into the question, why we would use this device in the classroom? It is simple and it is convenient. It'll dearly help with presenting in the classroom. Not only is it at the desk and right at the teacher's hand, so the teacher doesn't even have to get up, get up and go to the whiteboard or the chalkboard. It's right there in front of them. And the students can see them as they're working still because her hand and the paper will be right underneath the camera. Not only can it project those things, but it can also project videos from the computer as long as it is hooked up correctly. It is also very easy to use as there is a remote that controls everything. It's on and off, just make sure everything is connected. Now the fact that it is easy to use brings us into the next question on how to use it. Now in this picture, you can see the Elmo with the camera is pointing down on a whiteboard. The whiteboard is so that there's a plain background for the action to happen on top of so that it is easier to see in the projection. The white box looking thing is the actual projector, which is oftentimes put on the ceiling. And on top of that is the remote that you would use to turn both of the things on and go to the different settings. Now I hope this told you something about the overhead projector maybe you can use in the future. Thank you.